Hi everybody, I'm C. If you're new, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Today, we are going to be swatching and reviewing the Jolly Rancher set from Taste Beauty. I found this set at Five Below. We have the Jolly Rancher eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. It's really nice. And we have the Jolly Rancher lip gloss. That should be fun. And we have a Jolly Rancher face mask. And we have a four piece Jolly Rancher makeup brush set. Cosmetic brush set, all from Taste Beauty. Let's start with the face mask. I'm very excited. Ooh, the mask is blue. It, it definitely smells like blueberry. It's not an overpowering scent, so that's nice. But it definitely has a scent. It's so cute. It's got the little blueberries on it. How adorable. Okay, got it on. How cute. Look at this one right here. How cute. I like the um, Taste Beauty masks. They're all so freaking cute. Let's, let's start with the brush set. It's four pieces. We have a powder brush, a blending brush, a shadow brush, and a eyeliner brush. Cool. Oh, directions. For safe use, use an eyeshadow brush to apply eyeshadow from a palette and create unique looks. Care and cleaning instructions. Wet the bristles with lukewarm water. Place a drop of your cleanser of choice into the palm of your clean hand. Gently massage the tips of the bristles in your palm. Rinse the bristles th thoroughly. Cool. How pretty. Okay, we have the powder brush. I love how it's Jolly Rancher, but it still reminds me of Nerds, the Nerds candy. So cute. It's soft, I like it. So that's for powder. Then we have this one, which is the blending brush. This is Jolly Rancher on it. So cute. I like the colorful tips. We have the eyeshadow brush. It's yellow. Very pretty. How cute is this set? I love it. And then we have the eyeliner brush. Just a Jolly Rancher on it with all the little fruits. Pink. We love a good pink uh, makeup brush. Now we're going to swatch the eyeshadow palette. And they have names. We have watermelon, green apple, cherry, grape, blue raspberry, peach, strawberry, cin cinnamon, and pineapple. Now, I don't remember there being a cinnamon or pineapple Jolly Rancher, but they're nice colors. We're gonna swatch the top three rows first. So watermelon, green apple, and then cherry. We have watermelon, green apple, and cherry. I like that cherry it looks a little bit orange. That green apple shimmer was really nice. 
the formula does feel soft and it is buildable so if you want to go soft you can go soft if you want to go bold you just have to build now we're going to go to grape blue raspberry and peach here we are grape blue raspberry and peach it's it's like a nice pastel easter spring palette and i'm mad i really like it and the shades they really do feel soft when you swatch so i'm really excited to try out a look and see what we can come up with now we're going to swatch the last row which is strawberry cinnamon and pineapple okay strawberry cinnamon and pineapple i really like the pineapple shimmer because it's kind of like a golden green marble mix so that's really cool question is what colors should i use don't know they're all so nice okay it's been about 20 30 minutes i think it is time to take off the mask Ooh, my face definitely feels hydrated i look clean so that's nice Now, I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to put on my base face, come back, and we will do a look and use the brushes and stuff. And yeah. Okay, I have my base face on. I have some setting powder. We're baking right now. So I figured let's use the powder brush to apply some bronzer. This bronzer is from Item Beauty, I believe the brand is called, and it is in the shade Mood. Swipe and Glow Bronzer. Yeah. I'm almost, almost hit pan. Almost. We're right there. So as you can see, this bronzer gets used. I do like the way the brush feels. It's very soft. Oh, you guys, we got a scratch of pen. Yay. That's exciting. Because that means she gets used. Okay, I did have to use a different brush because this one wasn't really grabbing the, the bronzer. But then I did use it to blend it out a little bit more. So maybe with a powdered blush, this will probably work a lot better. Or if you just need to blend something out. So that's cool. Now let's dip into, okay, I remember this was the blending brush. This is the eyeshadow brush. So let's, let's dip in. Oh. Before we dip in, let me put on some uh, eyeshadow primer because I want the shades to really pop and not move anywhere. Even though I hate this eye primer from Urban Decay, I still need to use it up. Okay, I think we should go in with blue raspberry first. Let's see how that goes. Look at this cute little brush. They're so cute. Perfect size for these little tiny holes. Ooh, the fallout is real. Okay. Ooh, but that blue is really nice. Okay. 
pigmented. We like that. Oh, look at that blue. How pretty. Yeah, this palette, you definitely have to sit and build. But at the same time, this eyeshadow brush is real thin. So if you're good at like details and stuff like that, this brush would be really nice for it. I'm not good at stuff like that. Bam, we have blue eyes. How pretty is that? Okay, now I want to go in with Mm, do I want to shimmer or do I want to matte? Ah, let's go in with grape. Grape, that really beautiful purple shimmer. Let's just see how that looks. All right, let me use my finger instead. Yes. How pretty is that? You definitely have to build the color. But I'm mad, it's really pretty. Now I think for my inner corner, I really wanna go in with pineapple. Let's see how that works out. Let's use our brush here. Ooh, my goodness. Look how pretty that is. Bam, we have our eyes. This is so cute. I did put a little bit of pineapple, just a hint up top over here. This is so freaking cute. Okay, before we finish our eyes with eyeliner and mascara, let's just... Let's just see the uh, Jolly Rancher lip gloss. So I should know if I should just use it as a topper or as just a full lip. Let's see. Ooh. She smells nice. She smells like candy. It has like a slight blue tint. I wish I could see it, but y'all really can't. Mm. It's cute, but I would probably use this as a topper. I do have a gel eyeliner in the color Blackout, so Let's use this brush and see if I could pull it off. I don't remember if I'm supposed to spray setting powder on this gel liner. Let me know in the comments because I don't remember. And this is going to be like my third time using this gel liner. Okay. Let's see, can I do it? Oh, it's so light. Okay, hold on. Maybe I am supposed to. Maybe on my brush, not necessarily on the light. Yeah, I don't know if that helped or not. <laughs> but just means I need more practice. That's totally fine. Okay, I gave up on that liner and ended up using a liquid liner, which was a lot easier and better. Like I said, I still got to practice with that gel. But um, okay, now for 
the finished look. And here is our finished look. I feel super cute, very Easter. I love it, I love it. What do y'all think? What colors would you have chose? Let me know in the comments and let me know if you want to see more looks with this little bitty palette. And honestly, I I like it. I I like this brand. It's it's cute, it's nice, it's fun. Look at that. There's like color going on. My only con is that if you want it popping like this, you really do have to sit there and build and build and build and build. But other than that, it's worth it to me. I like it. Not bad for a little $5 palette. It is what it is. It's cute. If you would like to see more content, follow me on Instagram or on TikTok. Do good deeds, everybody. Peace out.